Hello and welcome to Algebra. Today we're going to be looking at a little bit more advanced version of the radical form. So we're going to go from that rational exponent to a radical form. But there's a little twist in this lesson. Same version going back and forth. Remember the radical we had talked about had the skateboarder and the rational exponent we have as a fraction. But what happens when things don't go exactly the way we want them to? So express it write the expression in radical form. What happens is this. If we need to write this in radical form, this 98, we'll break this into its factor tree. Uh, 2 will go into 98 49 times, and 49 is 7 times 7. So when I look at these, of course this is going to be distributed. Ninety-eight to the one-half power. So look at this factor tree, for every two I see, I'm going to pick one of them. Well, I see a pair here, so if I see two, I can pull one out. That is just seven. But this two is still left. What do you do with a leftover? That's the big question. Well, what you do with it is you leave that exponent on the two. So now you deal with these inside, outside, put these in the radicand, inside, outside, inside, outside. Now this could be written separately. But because these denominators are the same, because these numbers are the same, you can combine them under the same radicand. So that is possible only because of this 2. Now, there's a lot of things here that don't need to be written. They're just understood. The 2 does not need to be written. This 1 to the first power and this to the first power, they don't need to be written. It's just understood. So this is it. When you write this form, you want to have your integers or your coefficients out front. You want to have the radicand, uh, the, the entire radical, uh, behind that to the right of it, and that is your simplified form. So in this case, 98 squared, this is really the square root of 98, we're able to break that into 2 times 7 times 7, and then 2 were inside, pull 1 out, and it was 7 times the square root of 2, but of course we also had the d inside, so it's another version. Okay, look at this one. 24, of course we're going to have to break this up, distribute this across. 24 to the 2 thirds power times c to the 2 thirds power. This I need to investigate. I might not be able to do anything with it, but we need to check. So 24, we're going to pull a factor tree. 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. Look and see if I can find 3, a set of 3. Do I see three of anything? Yes, I see three twos. So I can pull one of those out and it's just two. This three, it's still stuck with this two-third exponent. So two times inside, outside. C goes in the radicand, inside, outside. And because these numbers here are the same, I can combine them into a single radicand. If they were different, I would have to leave them separate. And now, and now don't confuse this 2 to the third. This is 2 times the cube root of. So be very careful with that. The notation is important. 3 squared is 9. And then c squared, of course, stays c squared. And that's it. That is my answer. Have a good day.